COVID-19 data from South Africa shows the surge of infections from the Omicron variant was shaped more like a ice pick, what they're calling it, than a wave. Here to answer your questions is Dr. Todd Ellerin, Chief of Infectious Diseases at South Shore Health. Thank you so much for being with us. Great to see you, Dr. T. All right, which brings us to question one. Case numbers in South Africa are dropping almost as quickly as they spiked. So the question is, do you expect the same type of dramatic plunge here? If it went from like this to this, do you think it'll do that here? And the answer is I'm not sure, and I'll tell you why. Things are a little different in South Africa. The population is younger. There were more infections before. We have more vaccinated people, but probably less previously infected. So I'm hoping it's an ice pick. But the other thing you have to remember is that South Africa went into summer quickly, mm -hmm. and we still have a long winter ahead. So I'm hoping it's like, a, like an ice pick, but it could be a little bit more like a snow fort. Mm -hmm. I think we have to be prepared for either scenario. Like a snow fort. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. We, we got a lot of viewer questions for you today, Dr. Ellerin. This one is from Regina, and she's saying, do you expect another variant that will eventually eliminate Omicron? You know, what I would say is that these, this virus, COVID-19, is really mutating for a job. It's what it does. It's replicating, and I think that it's going to continue to replicate, and we're going to see other variants until really most of the world is vaccinated, and that's going to be a long time. So, unfortunately, I don't think Omicron is going to be the last variant we see. I think we have to be prepared for others. But here's the good news. Mm -hmm. So far, it looks like with each variant, it's getting less and less virulent. Mm -hmm. And that may be because we're putting up more of an immune wall as more of us get infected and more of us get vaccinated and our immune systems are strong. All right, let's go to question three. And so the next one is from Chris. Why does the vaccine protect against severe illness but not against getting infected? Is there a simple answer to that? It's a great question, Chris, and here's the answer. The first thing is remember, when you get vaccinated, it goes into the arm. You get antibodies throughout your body in the blood, in the serum, but what you don't get is as much antibodies in your nose, in the back of the throat, and that's where the virus enters. So the vaccine is better at preventing severe illness than it is at allowing the virus to enter mm -hmm. our cells. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is that not only does the vaccine induce antibody response, but are also T cells. And T cells are something that have memory, so we're able to really kill the virus once it's in our body. So, so that, that, that prompts another question for me, just when you did that. So, so why by now, two years later, do we not have something that blocks it from going here or here? We need that, Ed. We really do. In, in fact, one of my friends a long time ago said what we need is not just the shot in our arm, but also that nasal vaccine, maybe a spray. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that we can consider in the future. I have a feeling I know that scientists are working on that formulation right now. Okay. Uh, we have another question. This one is coming from Mark. Uh, he's saying, can someone infect you with Omicron if you're talking outside without masks? Okay, Mark, so the good news is we know that this variant, and that includes Omicron, is much less likely to spread outside than inside. But let's face it, if you're face-to-face -face at close range for a long period of time and you're unvaccinated, even if you're outside, there's a chance that you could get infected, especially if you have a weakened immune system. So you have to take a lot of factors into account. But I will say transmission is much less likely outdoors than indoors. And we haven't really seen any differences with the Omicron variant. Dr. T, great to see you. Great to see you on a Friday. You Thank too. You. Have, have a good a weekend, wonderful guys. weekend.